that I cut in Nashville. It's called Straight Arrow. I made a wreck of my dream. Memphis, Tennessee, because this is really where uh, where this whole thing started. If it hadn't been for Sun Studios in Memphis, Tennessee, we'd still, you know, I don't know, we wouldn't have rock and roll, I guess. Uh, and it came down to this 18-year-old truck driver from Tupelo, Mississippi, a small town in Mississippi, who not only dared to listen to black music, which was pretty unheard of for a guy in Mississippi at that time in the early 50s. He also managed to, to sing black music and to fuse it with white country music and folk music and it became rock and roll. So I think that guy, the kid from Tupelo, was the, the coolest guy to ever walk the face of the earth. And he was the first, the first real superstar that we had in the last century. And uh, when people like, I don't know, Lady Gaga or someone like that, they sort of know how to play the media these days and uh, how to do that in a way that is good and that they can live with. But he was the, the very first uh, to have to deal with fame and success on these proportions. And it, it became difficult for him when he was older and uh, he also made some 
bad fashion choices wearing <laughs> jumpsuits with sequins. That's not doesn't suit everybody. I've tried it, believe me. <laughs> so I think when he was older, um, he only really, really had fun playing music, and uh, the music was still amazing. Um, so this is for the kid from Tupelo. He's overweight and overpaid He's middle-aged and he's alone The one he loves, she went away And he thinks about her every day The only friends he's got, they're on his payroll When he's looking in the mirror He don't see the boy he used to know when he lets go, man, it's rock and roll And he once again feels like the wildest kid In all of Tupelo He's got a bunch of TV sets Got a private jet And he's got his own jungle room he takes sleeping pills and he takes waking pills and he don't have all that much to do. When he sees his own reflection, it don't look nothing like the boy he used to know. But when he lets go, man, it's rock and roll and he once again feels like the wildest kid in all of Tupelo. Shakes his hips just so and curls his lip, and you know that he once again feels like the wildest kid in all of Tupelo. The kid from Tupelo. And I've been to Mississippi, I've even been to Graceland. And I've walked where the king walked And I just wish that I could sing just like he sang I wish that I could sing just like the king sang mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause when he let go Man, it was rock and roll and you know he must have been the wildest kid in all of Tupelo. Well, he'd shake his hips just so and curl his lip, and you know that he really must have been the wildest kid. Well, there never could have been a wilder kid in all of Tupelo. The kid from Tupelo. Mississippi Delta shining like a national guitar And I'm following the river down the highway to the cradle of the Civil War I'm going to Graceland Memphis, Tennessee I'm going to Graceland Thank you, and just so that you know, I was not talking about Johann Cruyff. <laughs> I was talking about Elvis Aaron Presley. And it all started in 1954 in Sun Studios in Memphis, Tennessee with this song here. That's all right, Mama. <laughs>
she done told me Papa done told me too Said some that gal you're fooling with She ain't no good for you But that's alright Texas is, you learn a lot about country music, whether you want to or not, um, and I wanted to, but I found out that um, the traditional country song has a limited range of topics, right? There's really only three topics you could write a traditional country song about. Women, loneliness, Horses. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and the 21st century. And women. <laughs> women were number one. <laughs> and the 21st century did not change that drastically. There were th still three topics women, loneliness, and trucks. And horses. And wolf well, horses were the 19th century. And then now there's trucks. And I thought it was about time to write a country song for the 21st century. Okay. Um, and it's about women and loneliness and the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love with a woman I've never seen. Her words flicker on my computer screen. <laughs> Lord, it feels so right. Good Lord, it feels so real. I'm in love with a woman I've never seen. There's a couple live right down the block from me They're always fighting over every little thing Changing the baby's diaper or the program on TV But I'm in love with a woman I've never seen I'm in love with a woman I've never seen Her words flicker on my computer screen Lord, it feels so right I'm in love with a woman I've never seen All my friends, they all worry about me They say, you know, maybe she's not who she claims to be She says she's 29, she could be 50 Or a guy Or something in between I'm in love with a woman I've never seen 
I might ask her to marry me, doesn't have to be in this world that's real. I'm in love with a woman I've never seen, everybody. I'm in love with a woman I've never seen. Her words flicker on my computer screen. Lord, it feels so right, Lord, it feels so real. I'm in love with a woman I've never seen. This is where the song used to be over. But then I showed my good friend Dennis just how to serve. So he couldn't find the love that he deserves. Who'll cater to his wants and will satisfy his needs. Now we both love the same woman we never see. <laughs> Finishing up a new record, and um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing Rules Radio Show tomorrow, and then I'm driving uh, back to the studio near Hanover, and uh, hopefully uh, by Monday night we'll be done mixing the record. So uh, by this time next year, this next song you'll hear it on every radio station. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I hope so for you. <laughs> but remember that you heard it here first. <laughs> It sounds a little different with the band, and I'm trying to trying to figure out how to do it when I do it solo. So let's see. Um, this is about I met this guy once, an older guy than me. There are very few these days, but this was when I was a little younger, and um, and he told me about this uh, great love he used to have as a as a younger man, and and. Um, he hasn't seen her in, in years, and he says he didn't know then that he would never find another someone like her. Um, and, uh, and so sometimes I think we all, maybe you haven't, but you will soon, soon enough. Maybe we've all found we've all found out that uh, we learn a lot of things as we grow older, and some of them. Maybe we wish we hadn't found out. So this is called Never Come to Know. I never knew our nights upon the riverbanks would be the best nights of my life. And I never knew I'd never feel that way again, but that was then. I know now, and I never knew that summer could last forever, that it would never fade, and I never knew we weren't meant to be together. That was I know now You make me feel so alive You make me feel so alive Well, I never thought I'd fail I'm going to do a 
couple more new ones. So this, this new one is the first record I wrote after turning 40, which that's a... It's very sad. It's a big thing. It's a big, <laughs> a big 4 Wait until you are 50. Yeah, well, by then it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I have to write off becoming as big as Elvis now. <laughs> but um, this is about how uh, some things stay with you that happen to you, and you know you, you can't go to those places again. They're not good for you. And, uh, and also some other things, you just know how they're going to turn out for no reason other than to trust your feelings. This is called In My Bones. Standing on top 
top of the mountain shore seems like a long way down But in less than the wink of an eye you might hit the cold hard ground Well no matter how solid the ground that you're on Fickle is the time Before you know it yourself, you'll be past your prime. Believe me, cause I know, believe me, I can feel it in my bones. You never know how good you've had it. Until you got it worse You never know how bad it's gonna be Before it hurts Well no matter how little or how much you got You're gonna always want more You never know how little you really need Till you've been dirt poor Cause I know, believe me, it's in my soul and in my bones. In my soul, I don't need evidence or proof. It's in my bones, where I can feel the truth. You'll never know where you run if you don't know what you're running from. You'll always find something that looks right. There's plenty that can always go wrong. No matter how far you travel the world, you can never shake off your home. And there's no avoiding facing yourself when you're all alone. Cause I know, believe me, it's in my soul and in my bones. In my soul, there's everything I've seen. In my bones, everything I'll ever be. get refreshments and the more beer you drink the better I sound in the second set. <laughs> That's been scientifically proven you can trust me on that. Uh, and also you can take a stroll. We set up a shopping mall over there and uh, feel free to get some of those CDs because I brought a bunch and I really don't need to bring them all back with me. <laughs> to get some. This is about again about getting older and uh, and not and not giving up and still uh, pursuing your dreams. I guess it's called for the stars. I've learned to live without what I desire and with what I got That don't mean that I'm satisfied and it don't mean I'm not Nothing to show but my failures and weaknesses, bruises and scars 
Gravity's getting to me and still I reach for the stars. Well, the global last virtual reality's changing so fast. Yesterday's tomorrow, tonight is a thing of the past. And only a relic still read the paper and still love the sound of guitars. And maturity's getting to me and still I reach for the stars. Reach for the stars. Will they slip farther away? Everybody's got a hungry heart. 
one song because I want to do one more before the break, but that's okay. Mm. When you're German and you spend a lot of time in the U.S., I don't know how it is when you're Dutch, but when you're German, there's really three things that they think of when the, the Americans, when they hear you're German. Now, number one is German beer. <laughs> they like German beer. And uh, so that topic of... Uh, conversation is exhausted quickly. They say, I like German beer. I say, yeah, it's good. <coughs> that, that's that. Number two is the Autobahn. <laughs> There's no speed limit. You guys are crazy. There's an <laughs> crazy on the Autobahn. And number three is another thing they think about when they know I'm from Germany, and I know they're thinking about it, but we don't talk about it. Uh, so I wrote a song about it. Um, this is called Sarah Stein. Oh, yeah. All right. Sarah Stein, she was a young girl in Vienna, dreaming of stages, dancing in the street. The neighbor boy, he liked to watch her, and she liked to, he came to the sea. And he had a fire in his eyes, she always wondered just where that fire would lead. This was Europe in the 30s, and so one day Sarah's family had to leave. They made it all across the ocean, and she grew up some far off distant land. Just like that boy back in Vienna, people like to see her. So she danced from coast to coast, coast to coast, became famous, then she became a wife. With that boy back with a fire in his eyes, still across her mind time and time. She's oddly out of place, strangely out of time. Vienna Ballerina on the Dakota County line. She can't shake the memory of the life she left behind. A Vienna Ballerina by the name of Sarah. She taught children how to stand on tiptoe, how to twirl around. And her husband was a good man till he passed away without a sound. But still she figures she found better luck than she could have ever hoped to find. Till that boy back with a fire in his eyes still crossed her mind time to time. She's oddly out of place, strangely out of time. A Vienna ballerina on the Dakota County. She can't shake the memory of the life she left behind. A 
Vienna ballerina by the name of Sarah Stein. When the grandkids come to visit, she likes to tell them about life in the old world. They bring their history books, they're full of pictures back when she was a girl. She sees a feather in there, and he's got a fire in his eyes. The sign of a skull on his uniform of black. This was Europe in the 40s And she knows now she ain't ever going back Now she's in another place And these are different times An old ballerina On the Dakota County She's still dancing in her memory, still dancing in her mind. That old ballerina by the name of Sarah Stein. <coughs> Thank you very much. Short break, let's say we'll be back here in 10-15 minutes, alright?